Okay, so I've been requested to make an update video, and I meant to do this long time ago, with uh, heat on the bottom of a pot here. Let's see if we can. Just... It looks like it's more focused on the side. Yeah, one spot's on the bottom, and uh, I can hear it. I can hear it definitely making noise. I have no clue where my digital thermometer is, so I've got this little meat thermometer. Hopefully I can set it in there and well, actually in the bottom there are tiny bubbles. Now I only set this on the pole um, just a minute or two ago just long enough to run inside and get this thermometer. I don't know if this is going to stand up. Oh! Hot! <laughs> okay, so that's down in there. Um, but yeah, probably two minutes of uh, sitting there in the sun. And I've already got... Um, it, it, it's bubbling down there at the bottom, if you can see that. So, and, and I see steam rising. Now to get the focal point, basically uh, these two legs were cut short by about, I want to say, six or seven inches because where the focal point was, I had to like join the two legs. But I just take this shadow here and I kind of line it up so that the sun comes straight down the arms right now it's not perfectly lined up but I have enough um, heat hitting the side and the bottom of the pan to actually get something going in there now I gotta get something to pull that thermometer out with Yeah, you can see, uh, hopefully you can see it. You can see steam coming out of that right now. Let's see if I can get this uh, temperature gauge back out of here. I might have to use uh, two sticks, like some chopsticks. Yeah, right now the focal points are kind of more on the side of the pan. Okay, good thing my wife is Korean, taught me how to use chopsticks. Uh, so it's sitting at right now, well now it's going down and I can't quite read it without my glasses on. But it was up around 170, I believe. Let's sit that back in there and watch it. So I've got some mild bubbles on the bottom. Steam coming off the top. If I had a better setup to where I can get the focal point right where I want it, it would probably do real well. And it looks like it's peaking out. It's almost at 175 right now. So yeah, if I tweak this a little bit, I bet you I can get this thing up to uh, over 200 and boil some water pretty quickly. Right now I have mild bubbles and steam coming off the water and I really wish I had my digital thermometer to uh, be able to tell you guys exact temperature of the bottom of this pan but uh, I can tell you what it it's hot and if you can see down in there the bubbles forming I want a roaring boil though. I don't want a 
mild bubbles. But it's promising. Hopefully I can find my digital thermometer and do another test with a little bit better setup here. Thanks for watching. All right, I guess we're rolling again. Um, so the time it took to watch this video, which was what, two minutes maybe, came back out and I actually have a bit of a, a boil going on. Um, more on the side there. But you can hear it and hopefully you can see it. But it's a whole lot better than it was just a minute or two ago. And uh, I'm still trying to tweak and focus the... Uh, I don't think I have my pot high enough. But it's boiling. So I've got a boil going down in there. And uh, yeah, I think, I think my focal point was not quite high enough. So I raised the pot just a little bit. And now I'm getting some boil. Some better boil action going on underneath. So, yeah, this can definitely boil water. Um, I want to say probably, probably four minutes to get a boil. Now I'm not sure, yeah, how much water I actually put in there and uh, what the standard is for, you know, to use a quart of water and time it but that could definitely cook a meal all right thanks for watching